Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Josh and in today's episode we're going to be continuing and watching some more Clash TV matches. So, we're going to be starting off by watching this Lava Miner deck against this giant Double Minion Miner deck. So, we've got a relatively new deck versus a pretty old deck. We've got Giant Triple Spell Double Minion against a Lava Miner deck. So, this Lava Miner deck is pretty new considering it has the addition of the Goblin Cage. So let's just hop straight into the video. So Rad's going to be ropping this Lava Miner deck, and Casey Royal's going to be running this giant Night Witch Double Minion Triple Spell deck. So Minion's going to be uh, sent into the right name. Mega Minion going to be met by them. Miner going to be coming in the in the left. Lava Hound going to be coming in the front of this Mega Minion. So we've, got, we've got a big push. He's going to choose to sacrifice all of the health on the left hand side. Baby Dragon going to come down to pick up these minions. Guard's going to come down as well. Log going to come down to damage those guards but won't fully kill them. Zap's going to come down to fully finish them. Fireball going to come down and finish off all of those parts plus the skeletons. So Minion's going to come down to finish that Miner, and that was not the best, that could have been a lot, lot worse for KC Royal. So both players just kind of sitting here, resetting, both players going to get back to 10 Elixir, KC going to send him to the Miner. Another Lava Helm may come in front of this Mega Minion. Right, Log's going to be cycled for casing. Mega Minion going to get one shot on that left side tower. Both players kind of just sitting here. Minion Horde going to come out from that Goblin Brawler. Minion Horde going to get wiped by that Fireball. Miner does actually tank for one guard, but the minions do come down to finish them all off. So Giant Knight is going to come down in the left as Double Licks comes. So Goblin Gate is going to be coming down in the middle of the arena. Guard's going to come down to stab down this Giant. Log going to come down to hit both the Goblin Cage and the guards. Miner is still uncontested on that challenge. Giant going to get no damage. Knight is going to die. Miner's going to get a lot of chip damage on that tower himself. Lava Hound going to be coming down one more time for Brad. Giant Knight which is going to be coming down in the left lane again. Another Miner might come down. No. Minion Ball going to come down on the Mega Minion. And the Minion will continue to fire at that Lava Hound. The Fireball does come down there on those four Minions. Giant gets a lot of damage on the left side tower. Mine is going to shovel even more in, so Minion's going to get uh, Lava Helm going to get a load of damage, taking it down to 400 HP left. Nightwitch going to come down to stymie all of the remaining pups, so that was definitely a waste of 4 elixir right there for KC, except it was needed to prevent all of the damage from fireball range. Mine are going to come down one more time, plus a fireball, that's going to take it into, down to 20, and a minor, look at that, look at that, 19 HP, look at that. The Baby Dragon was there, the Miner was there, the Fireball was there, everything on this planet under the sun was there, and the Miner from KC takes it. That was insane, that ending was insane right there, the last second defied absolutely everything, so that match going to go to KC, and the next match is going to be the Royal Giant Cycle Deck, except it looks, I believe, the, the Ice Wizard is psyched psych in for the Miner. And it looks like it's, it looks like it's going to be this Royal Giant Cycle Deck against 2.9 Expo. Now, I would normally give this win to the Royal Giant Cycle Deck. However, I've never seen a match with the Royal Giant Deck with the Miner in there against 2.9. I don't think it'll do much, but I think the Miner's going to be even better. And the reason why I say the Miner is better than the Ice Wizard is because the Miner can actually go directly to the uh, to the Expo. It's the same cost as an Ice Wizard, but it does 
a bit bad damage. It doesn't do as good damage as the Miner can. The Miner does more damage, it's faster, and it can actually travel directly onto the Expo. That's if they don't uh, retarget the Expo. So, we're going to watch this interesting match here. So, watching from the perspective of the Royal Giant player, if you are a Royal Giant player, of course, this is going to be a little bit of an easier perspective. If you're a 2.9 player, then you can try. If the if the Royal Giant deck wins, then you can see what this 2.9 player did wrong, and you might be able to think of yourself what they did wrong that you could have done. So Archer's going to come out, Miner's going to come out, Expo's going to come immediately onto that, Royal Giant's going to immediately come and hit that Expo. going to come back and knock that back. No damage from the Royal Giant onto the tower. Ice Spirit to cycle. Log to cycle. Zap to cycle. Royal Giant. So it looks like, it looks like Paco Zapper knows, knows the fastness of uh, the 2 point Extra Cycle deck, and it looks like he realized he was back to his Expo, so he just pretty much threw every single Cycle card he could at that right side tower, trying to chip, chip, chip. I'm back to Roger. Basically, what did. <coughs> so, Skeleton's going to come out to kill that Ice Golem. One, one for two trade. Ice Spirit going to come out from Fasten. Log going to come out to chip even more. Miner's going to come out and hit that Archer. It's going to take down that Archer. Ice Golem going to come down to neglect all damage. Skeleton's going to be sacrificed by the Ice Spirit. Log's going to come down and chip even more for the Expo player. It looks like both players are just kind of waiting for double elixir as it happens. So Tesla's going to come down. Another log's going to cycle. So it looks like it looks like Paco's really into his cycling. So Ice Spirit plus Archers. So he's zapped to get rid of the Archers, and the Miner is actually going to get two swings on that tower. So defensive Expo is going to be played. Fire will going to come down, hit both the Expo and the town. <coughs> Also, the log's going to come down to finish off that expo main. Another zap's going to come down. Offensive expo going to come down with a Tesla this time. Royal Giant going to be specifically played to hit the expo. Tesla is helping out, however, the Tesla did help out at the start. So it looks like uh, Fasa is just trying to cycle pretty much as many cards as he really can. Miner going to come down with a fireball. Expo opposite lane. Royal Giant comes out again. This is a bit frustrating to watch. If you are a 2.9 player, like a hardcore 2.9 player, and you're watching this, it's hard when you have a Royal Giant cycle deck against you. Because look at this, we've got a Royal Giant at pretty much a core of his HP, and you're forced to drop another, um, another Tesla. Now look at this. Oh, uh, look at that. He was Fasa knew he would have his Expo in cycle. Fasa knew he had his Royal Giant, but the cycle was just so quick. Both of you have pretty much the exact same cycle, so it's a bit annoying that an Expo is pretty much never going to break through. And they had the Zap on top, so if they're late with a Royal Giant, they can just Zap it onto it. It's really frustrating to get an Expo there. And it looks like uh, Paco is just going to pretty much focus on mining, mining chip at this point. <coughs> So we have a really healthy Royal Giant and a Mega Minion going down the left lane. The Royal Giant is going to get one, two, it might get a third. No, it gets two hits. And the good game does come out from Fasa. It is pretty much, pretty much almost impossible, I would say, in this specific matchup. I would probably say it is pretty much impossible for a 2.9 player to beat a Royal Giant cycle deck. It's just pretty much... Like, if we look at the cycle, does he still have it? No, okay. He doesn't have it. He's 12th in the world with more bait. But, I'm going to guess that deck is two point, roughly 2.9, I would say, if I was to guess. Um, yeah, I would definitely say that is really close to 2.9. Pretty much, I would say that ma that matchup is pretty much impossible to win. If both players play normally, 
Because if an expo if the expo player tries to outcycle, they're pretty much already back to <clears throat> a royal giant. And if they forget to play it or they miss miss see your expo, they could just easily zap the expo back onto the royal giant. So it's it's basically an unbeatable matchup, really. I mean, you need pretty much like three Teslas on, on one lane. Surprisingly, that's probably the only way an expo player could really win. Somehow getting a Tesla to to take the damage of the royal giant, but. Yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to Golden Gaming down below. Follow us on all social medias as well in the description below. Also, check out our merch store if you would like some hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, phone cases, uh, tank tops, t-shirts, etc, etc. There is much more. I definitely would, do recommend uh, you go, uh, going to check it out. There is a lot of fun stuff over there you can buy and look for yourself. But definitely go check that out. And that's pretty much been it. I shall see you guys in the next video.